Hello guys, welcome to Microsoft ASP.NET MBC tutorial on how to register, login, and authenticate and make a session. To check a session, user session, we will make this tutorial in four parts. And this is first tutorial on how to register user. Let's start. At first, we are in home controller. In home controller, we will make an action result with name register public action result register. We'll just return a view. And for this, we'll create a view. Right click on register and add a view. We'll give a name register and we'll choose the template create. And for model class, I have already made a class named user. Let's use it. It will create a register.chhtml page by scaffolding. While this scaffolding continues, let's see our scaffolding has finished and it has created a register.chhtml page before this we will see our user class which I have made here public user with a key ID and username and password okay for this how this will be connected with database this will be connected with database with a context you can write any any name for the context here I have already made a context with student I have made a DB set of students but for now we are looking for users I have made a DB set for users you have to write this line in your student in your context you can made user context it's on your choice you can give any name to the context uh, here I have given a student but you can give user context or DB context or anything you can give here you have to write public DB set and which class you want to connect with the respective table in the database I to connect my user class with users tables this table must will will be created if you go with a code first approach and if you have already a table there in database you will go with database first approach I have created uh, this users table in database with code first approach users create class and uh, update database in package manager console and your database table will be created there not a big deal you can see my table here in student context database I have already made students but for now we are not dealing with that student table we are dealing with users table in users there are three columns with ID username and password okay let's move on to our home controller in register we have created a register action result and this register action result will return a view register.chhtml where we have our username password fields which will be entered by user let's see this by running while this loads up let's talk about next action we will do oh, little faster now next step we will do is we will create another action result with a parameter user
let's move on to home controller in home controller this action result will let us see our result yes that uh, our action result with register method will return a view register.chstml where we have username and password fields to create now let's move on to home controller we'll do our next coding for that create button when user clicks on that create button we must uh, add that uh, user in our database table we must create a account for that user let's do that work okay we will make another action result another action result will have a http post method http post method is used to retrieve the form from the user since this uh, register.chstml contain a form here html.begin form means it has a form which will be submitted by client side to our server side this must this form must be handled in our server side code this form will be handled by this action method since this both action method have same name but it will be different with this parameter and this http post okay what this code is going to do is when user clicks on that create button with providing username and password then that uh, provided username and password will be retrieved here with user object and when this user object will be retrieved we will connect to our database table by this statement this is a student context and object db with new instance of student context this student context is nothing that we have already talked about it it will be connecting with our users table by this statement okay now we will add that user to our table by this line db.users will connect to our users table and dot add will add the add that user in that database table and in next line that will be committed this will be added with temporary table will be made here and the final final result will be saved in our database by this line db dot save changes and when this uh, happens when this uh, uh, code runs successfully after that we will return our user to login for now I am just uh, uh, using view only will tell the user that user has been successfully registered for this we will make a view bag here view bag dot message equals to you are successfully registered same thing we will put in our register.chstml let's put it here if vivek.message is not equals to null then we will display a message in h1 that is the same message we will display let's run it at first we have in our users table we have one data is there only one row is there with username and password username you guys and password password one two three we'll create another user here and see let's run our project
this load so let's see our code again at first we have done we have made our action result with register name and return a view that view is register.chstml which resides in our views home folder register.chstml and this contains a form and inside form there is a message and there is a username field and password field and a submit button with create value okay here is a error let's solve it since we haven't returned at the rate here since after using HTML tag we must give at the sign to begin our C sharp code again let's save and see it again let's reload it again it's not working let's see what happens Let's run it again. Oh, one one who is there. At the rate if prevent dot message is not equals to null. Mm, unexpected if keyword after every character. Once inside code, you do not need to prefix construct like if with address means. Let's see. Mm. Let's remove that address before if. This must solve our issue since we are already using address character in this using statement while creating begin form uh, we must not use address again here it will create conflict there ok let's see it again this must solve our issue after that register CSHTML, we have created a HTTP POST method with same name register with parameter user. When you put a breakpoint and see their user, you will see the provided username and password there. Let's see. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, let's put a breakpoint here so that we can see that data is coming or not mm, let's give name because username and password because one two three later you can make this field password field uh, for now I have made uh, a editor for which has not any type of password but you can give password type that's not big deal for now we are just uh, concerned concerning on register process let's create it now it has taken us to register action result here in user object we have got password with because one one two three username because and ID zero since ID must be created automatically so we don't have to pass ID and this must be saved in our database when we continue it now we can see the message also this message is seen by using that viewback dot message if that message is not null you will show that message there by this statement if viewback dot message is not null so this vivac dot message and how that vivac dot message is getting value this is getting value from here vivac dot message equals to you are successfully registered okay let's see if our user is registered or not by 
seeing the data let's refresh it since there is already one row before we, we are making another user with username because let's see yes now we have another user with username because and password because one two three in this way we can make a register process in our asp.net mbc web app this much for first part in another part we will talk about login process till then goodbye and have a good time thanks for watching